Now before we launch into Raspberry uh, desktop station in full detail, we'll have a little close look at Raspberry Pis. This is the Raspberry Pi Model 1, still have it in this plastic case, and it uses a, an SD card as you can see on the bottom here, SD card for the operating system, and I've got a Wi-Fi uh, dongle plugged in so that it can communicate with um, some sort of a Wi-Fi uh, modem router for communication rather than using the RJ uh, network cable plug. These came out in 2012-2013 when the Raspberry Pi was first introduced. In 2015, at the end of February 2015, the Raspberry Pi Model 2 became available. And a year later, 2016, the Raspberry Pi 3 model became available. You might notice on my Raspberry Pi 2 and 3, I've actually put a, a heat sink stuck onto the top. These do get a little bit warm, and when I use it for, particularly the Raspberry Pi 3, for um, recoding a video, um, I've got a little fan that I've fitted to the outside of the lid, blowing cold air down over the central processor unit to keep it cool and keep it running at maximum speed. To give you some idea of performance, if this had a, ra a rating of 1, then this particular unit is 6 times, the Raspberry Pi 2 is 6 times more powerful than the Raspberry Pi 1, and the Raspberry Pi 3 is 10 times more powerful than the Raspberry Pi 1. Now the interesting thing also about these particular systems, there's been a heck of a lot of development on the Raspberry and operating system. When this first came out, it used Raspberry and Wheezy as its, its main operating system. Um, and later on down the track, uh, they introduced Raspberry and Jesse to go on to the Raspberry Pi 2. That happened around about six months after this was released. And they've continued on with Raspberry and Jesse as the operating system of choice with a lot of modifications and now has a nice graphical um, skin over the top called Pixel. And uh, that's, that gives you a very, very good quality screen. There's also been a lot of work on the software and uh, there's been some changes. The, the main one is the changeover to using on, on the latest systems, Google Chromium as the preferred browser. Now, these particular things, when they came out, this was the one that Yasan was very interested in from desktop station because of the huge increase in performance over the Raspberry Pi 1. And as I mentioned in early part of the video, he developed what's called a hat that fits on top. Now hat stands for the words hardware attached on top in desktop in uh, Raspberry Pi terminology. So he developed a hat to go on top and to utilize some of the work that he'd done on his DCC forward slash MM2 um, shield board that he built for the Arduinos. So let's move on to showing you what he did at the end of the day 